Hey guys, welcome to Deep South Outdoors. It's early January 2011, and I'm kind of looking for some beavers and stuff. I kind of found this slide here. It's kind of wide. It's a lot wider, so I could tell it's a beaver slide. And all. by the way, it's kind of hard to see because it's night time, as you can tell. It's about 30 degrees outside. But I could tell this here's a beaver slide by how wide it is. And by the little tail marks and stuff and all. I should say big tail marks. It's not an otter. An otter will leave like a little line down the middle of it. This here's a wide. Everybody knows that. Oh, I just heard a splash down. I'm fixing to have to go check it out in just a second. No, I think that's one of the beavers there. They'll slap their tails real hard. And it's to try to scare you off and all. And plus it's kind of like a warning to other beavers that they hear something out here. So I'm going to try to find him in just a second. I'm going to let him calm down for a minute. But I wanted to show you guys this over here. Let me move down here some. All these tree branches here. You can kind of tell. Let's see if I can zoom in on it some here. Where a beaver's been chewing just tonight. He's taking out these trees here. And what they're going to do is they're going to build themselves a home, a little mound. Or well, they get pretty big too, the mounds and stuff they build. You know, their houses and stuff and all the rays are young and all. Now in late January and early February, that's their breeding time. So they're probably trying to make like a nest or a little home and stuff. And all. But you can see these are some pretty good sized trees that they have chewed up. And they still got some of the pieces on the ground. Lying around there's one there, no pieces here, little wood chips everywhere. So I know they're pretty active in this area. I'm going to try to see if I can't show you the mound that they're building, but it's so dark and all. I'm not able to show it to you, I don't think. My camera won't pick it up, but you can see the little wood chips there. But I heard a splash on down just a little ways. I'm going to ease down there, see if I can't video him. But if... I do, it's probably not going to be that great of a video, it's probably going to be hard to see and all it being night time, it's the only time I can really find them. I have seen them during the daytime, but I just didn't have my cameras with me at the time. But this here is where they've been chewing up these trees, they'll drag it off into the pond that's right behind me, and they'll make like a little home and stuff. And also, I'm going to ease down here, see if I can't find him. I heard him splashing just a second ago and I heard a tree snap, where they chewed out another tree and it fell. So I'm going to ease down there, and hopefully I can get a video of it. Okay guys, you seen that beaver right there? He came pretty close to me. They don't seem to be too scared of this light. And all it's just I wish I had a brighter light to be able to get a better, you know, picture of him and stuff and all. Or video of him. But that there's a beaver for you. And now I'm gonna go look around and see what all they've been eating and stuff and all. Hopefully I can find they they do eat like small fish, crayfish, stuff, but they're mostly vegetarians. Oh there he is again. Let me see if I can't get him again. Seems like he's kind of more curious of me. You know. There he is. Right there. There you go. Seems like he's checking me out about as much as I'm checking him out. But I'm going to continue looking around to see if I can find a, one a little bit closer. 
This here I think is a male one. I heard him grunting a while ago. Sorry about the bad video once again. But I'm going to continue looking around to see if I can find some more. And hopefully this one will come a little bit closer. I can get a little bit better video of him and all. Seeing how he's so curious of me. So I'm going to go look and see if I can find what all they're eating and all. And I'll be real. Oh, there he's coming back this way again. Like I said, he's real curious of me. He's wondering what in the world am I doing up here. He's wanting to get a hold of them trees that he's done, he done chewed and stuff. It's just waiting for me to get out the way. So I'm going to leave this one alone. I don't want to interrupt anything. So I'm going to go see what all he's been eating. I know where he's been doing a lot of splashing and stuff and all. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. I'm kind of waded out to the water a little bit, but you kind of see in this mud here, you can see how wide this little trail is. That's his tail, though, a beaver's tail dragging and stuff and all. Now, he had just come through here and all, probably not more than 10 minutes ago, because I was just videoing that beaver a few minutes ago and stuff. I'm kind of looking around here to see what all he might have been feeding on, because it seems like they like to hang around this area a lot. And a lot of times you can find, like, little fish and stuff and things. And I'm kind of looking. I really don't see any yet. But right, let's see. I think that might be one in that light right there. I don't know if my camera's going to adjust to it right. I think that little spot right. Oh, he done moved. Right there's a little fish right there. They'll eat these small fish and all. And they do eat crayfish stuff, but they're mostly vegetarians. But now, right before breeding time and stuff, and I don't want to pack on as much fat. Plus, it's getting cold here in South Georgia. I don't want to pack on as much fat as possible. And also, they could be healthy and stay with them babies for, a, I'm not sure how long of a period of time. And we will find my light again. I believe... Uh, my camera ain't gonna pick it up. There's a little bit bigger fish up underneath that limb there. It's kind of hard to see, but that's what they're coming over here eating. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these beavers alone and stuff so they can do what they need to do. And until next time, thanks guys.